Hey you guys, today we're talking about coleslaw. Yesterday I was joking around with Mark, I said cold slaw, and that's really what we need because it's 104 degrees today. So yesterday I had some cabbage. I had a head of regular cabbage. I had a head of purple cabbage. I had a bag of carrots like this that are already um, shredded. I have in my pantry some raisins. Now, I did not put the raisins in this batch, but I'm going to go through and show you how to make an easy, very simple um, coleslaw. So, all I did was use my KitchenAid food processor. And this is one of the uh, bags that I put together. If you process your vegetables, your cabbage and your carrots, you can split it up. So if you're using a large head of cabbage and a nice size head of the purple cabbage and um, about a half a bag of the carrots, you can fill up four of these bags with about five cups of cabbage mixture. So yesterday when I did it, we had our, our cabbage, I mean our coleslaw last night, but this is for a friend. So I don't mix the dressing because the dressing will make it soggy. So what I did, I put this in a bag for her and then I did a container of dressing. So this is about three quarters of a cup of dressing. Let me go through the dressing. So this is going to make enough for four bags of salad. So we're gonna take, and I put it in the mixer because if you don't put it in the mixer, you can still feel the granular sugar and I use a granular sea salt. So I want to make sure that that's really blended in there. I'm using a full cup of Duke's mayonnaise. I like Duke's for this and I put that in there. I'm using four tablespoons of sugar. Now you're gonna notice we're gonna have sweet and we're gonna have bitter and salty and spicy all together in this. So four tablespoons of white sugar, three tablespoons of lemon juice. Squeeze fresh lemons. You can use the you can use real lemon, but fresh lemon is so much better. So use that. You can even, if you want to, put a little bit of the, um, put a little bit of grated lemon peel in there. I think you would like that. So you're going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I use the HEB Organics, great. If you like it a little bit tangier, use a tiny bit more. Remember, apple cider vinegar does have that nice tang. I use a half of a teaspoon of salt so right here and then I used a full teaspoon and a half of black pepper. You may want to even go a little bit more with that. Anyway, you'll put your food processor, put, put your top on your food processor and then just give it a whir till it's all blended. I have a lot of these special little containers, they're little ball containers I use for my dressings. So if I make a salad for somebody, I'll put their dressing in these little containers. And you want to go ahead, and if you're going to do um, coleslaw, you're gonna want to toss it about a half hour before. So keep this very chilled, keep this very chilled, and toss it. So when you get your blender here done, you're going to split it up in four different jars. And as I said, with your cabbage, you'll split it up into four different bags. You can use this several times during the week and you can, you can take it, I would take it like this to go to a picnic and then just toss it together. I also add raisins. You can use golden raisins, regular raisins, whatever kind of raisins when I like that little sweet bite in there. So, in this hot weather, make something cool and enjoy. I think you can hear in the back, I've got some vanilla ice cream going because I'm gonna make something special to top that vanilla ice cream tonight. So, anyway, take care. Thanks for stopping in.